This is shuttle uh, launch control at T minus two minutes, 20, I mean two hours, 28 minutes and counting. Here comes the uh, 51 L flight crew boarding the elevator uh, for the second time in two days, ready to depart the ONC building for the launch pad. And they'll ride down the uh, three floors to the main level where they will uh, exit the ONC building, traditionally met by the members of the media who are uh, standing by waiting to uh, document. And this is the work crew here that uh, has been uh, very active in uh, preparing the 51L mission at the Operations and Checkout Building. The payloads, which include a TDRS satellite, the Spartan Halley experiment. And here comes the flight crew now. Commander Dick Scobie, followed by Mission Specialist uh, G. Resnick, Ron McNair, Pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista McCollum, teacher in space, and Ellison Onizuka, and payload specialist Greg Jarvis. Big smiles today. Confidently getting into the van. They're going to go out to that pad and uh, attempt a second try, a second, a second try at launch today. It'll take a few minutes for the astronaut van to uh, get to the pad. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity, 2,257 feet per second. Altitude, 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 3 nautical miles. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. Fifteen seconds. Velocity twenty nine hundred feet per second. Altitude nine nautical miles. Downrange distance seven nautical miles. carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. Contingency procedures are in effect. Uh, information. 
information available. Again, to repeat, uh, we have a report uh, relayed through the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. We are now looking at uh, all the contingency operations and awaiting uh, re word from any recovery uh, forces in the downrange field. from the flight dynamics officer indicate that the vehicle uh, apparently exploded and that uh, impact uh, in the water at a uh, point approximately 28.64 uh, degrees north, uh, 80.28 uh, degrees west. We are awaiting uh, verification from uh, uh, as to the location of the recovery forces in the field to, to see what uh, may be possible at this point. <laughs> 